going on, folks? How's your hammer hanging? How's your cat hopping? All right, good to see you. Y'all remember this? Another video? Yeah, we're going to make us a hat rack slash coat rack slash hang duck calls on, you know, whatever, just a hangy thingy. So what I'm going to do first is cut all these little old limbs off to, I don't know, a couple inches long or so, give or take, and, you know, then I'm going to go back and sand them and round them off and make them smooth, and I'm going to sand the whole tree down, so uh, I'm going to get my saws off and get to cutting on these here limbs. See if we can't make something look decent. I don't know yet if I'm going to put it in the house or out in the shop or exactly what I'm going to do with it yet, but... It was way too pretty to leave it laying in the woods. I'm going to do something with it. I can promise you that. So let me get the old saws all fired up over here and start cutting some limbs. Well, apparently I just pulled one of the rookie YouTuber mistakes by thinking I hit the play button when I actually hit the pause button. So, as you can tell, I've already got it delimbed. Yeah. But I don't think there was much to see there. Really. I just took a sawzall and cut the limbs off. So, yeah, I got them all cut off, you know, nothing scientific, just cut them off an inch or two long to hang duck calls or hats or jackets or, you know, whatever. So yeah, now, now that I got these all cut down like I want them, I've left it super long. It's still close to 20 feet long, I would guess, give or take. So I'm going to get the sander out and get the sanding on it and figure out which x amount of feet i want to use uh depending on where i'm gonna put it i still haven't made up my mind on that so like down here you see it's dirty right there so probably won't use that part but like that's got a lot of limbs in it and then there's a lot of limbs here i'll just pick out whatever section of it i want to use but i'm gonna probably finish all of it up till about i don't know here or so i'll probably stop there because none of that's really any use to me so all right now i'm gonna get her sanded down all right, now we got all the limbs and all took care of. Brought it in here under the shed would be somewhat cooler. Got me a little fan blowing because it is Louisiana and I sweat a lot and it's hot. So now what I'm going to do is start smoothing it off real good. Uh, some of these spots that are rotted or you know got little holes in, I like to get in there with a the screwdriver and try to get out as much loose stuff as I can just so that when I do take it in the house, I don't have to worry about that mess falling off and I just get in there and root around in it some and then take my air hose and blow it out. I don't have to worry about that too much. Just because you can't, I mean, I guess you could get in there and sand it if you had a little file or something, but I'm probably not going to worry that much with it. But what I'm going to do is get my little orbital sander and uh, just start going down and trying to round off these limbs, getting them smooth. And you won't be able to get it all with an orbital sander. You are going to have to do some hand sanding and. Uh, get some different size round sand blocks and whatnot and get in these grooves and cracks and crevices just to get it get as much of it as you want if you can't get it all i was just looking at it you know if there's a little spot here that you can't get into i wouldn't just waste my time with it too much because that's just going to add contrast to that red and in my opinion probably make it look better so i'm going to get the old sander fired up now and it's going to take a while going to take a while I'm going to start off with my 60 grit. I'll stay with 60 grit until I'm completely finished with it. And uh, once I've gone over the entire thing with the 60 grit, then I'll move up and I got some 150 just to slick it up and make it look just a little bit better. So here we go. After many, many hours of sanding with a orbital sander, child labor, block sanding, wife labor, block sanding, and taking strips like this, you can take these and wrap them around you. There you go, hold that for me real quick, video me. 
You can take these. You watch what I'm doing, baby. Okay. Like that. And you get all your limbs and stuff smoothed up real good. Or different place you can do it. Like that. Anything you gotta do. Many, many different ways. More than one way to skin a cat, as they say. So we're about to wrap up the whole sanding part. I don't know if I want to go all the way to the end or not because just to get this eight or so feet we've done has taken, I don't know how many man hours, women hours, and child hours. Not gonna lie, it's been rough. So, the next part I'll catch you up on will be when we actually start putting the stain on it. That'll be when it really takes shape and changes colors and looks good. So we're gonna finish up this last little bit of sanding. And I'll bring you back whenever we get ready to put the spar urethane on. I may not put spar urethane. It's better for outdoor, but I don't know. I'll put something on it and bring you back then. All right. After all the sanding is completed, and we tested down here two different uh, sealers, I guess you call it. One was the spar urethane, and one is a acrylic... clear satin that's what it is and the spar urethane was a lot shinier so if you want to go a shiny coating i'd go with that it was a lot more reflective i don't know if you can tell it under this light but that's got a lot of shine to it and you can kind of see it there and the other did not and lynn made the executive decision that it looked better dull by not being super shiny so we're about to commence so let's see what it looks like Oh, there it is. There it is. It's gonna be real nice, Clark. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's gonna be in there like swimwear here shortly. She just run it on with a rag. Got a five sprig condom on her hand. <laughs> Otherwise known as a latex glove. Uh-huh. Ooh, look at it. Ooh. Ooh, get that other one right there beside. Hit the end of it. Watch him. Oh my god. Mm. So I'm gonna do my side with a brush just to see if it makes that big of a difference. It may not, I don't know. We're just gonna give it a test drive and see. Here we go. Oh, this stuff looks white, but I promise you it is clear once it gets spread out and dries. Oh, that is just not what you, you know what I say when you see something like that? You know what I say, Coda? Would you just, Would you look, just at look at it? Just look at it. Oh yeah. Getting there nice and deep like that. All them cracks and cribs getting there nice and deep like. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That is spec effing tacular. Don't be cussing, okay? You be cussing? You cuss? Okay. You drink? Okay. You smoke? Okay, just checking. Oh, yeah. All right, well, we're going to finish this up, and I'll bring you back right at the end of the show because I'm sure y'all probably don't want to just sit and watch paint dry, literally. So, be right back in uno momento. <sighs> Didn't everybody ever tell you you ain't hot in Louisiana? They're a liar. Hot. Hermid. And the sun is setting. Oh. Did y'all want to see what that log looked like? I'm pretty you did. Hey, now. Okay. Dogs don't want to be sociable. Rude. Rude. Well. Guess I'll show y'all how the log turned out. I don't think y'all wanted to see it, but I guess I'll show it anyway. Not friendly. I'll show you the log. Here's a go-kart, some house pad, shop, ranger. Oh, look at the pond. Look at, and look at there. There's my last project sitting down there. See it right there? Just watered the flowers in it. It's looking nice. And then you have this guy. Oh, would you just look at it? Just look at it. Arr. 
my god that is 10 feet i cut it off a while ago of straight heart cedar just as red as it can be hope the light don't get me on this side oh look at it that's only two coats of that poly we put on here and it turned out gorgeous would you just look at it mm, 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 mm. so i know my wife put this on facebook asking so what's it gonna be anyone care to guess well there were several guesses in the comments of it and honestly i don't know what it's going to be yet the reason we asked what it was going to be was so that i could get some ideas for it could be a coat rack could be a hat rack could be just a centerpiece to have ducks mounted on as you know who you are said i don't know your name my wife knows you but oh, look at that. just look at that yeah I may have a squirrel mounted on it or some ducks pinned to it. Or, like I said, just hats and coats and things of that nature. So, we're not done with it. Oh, no. There's still another part to come. We have to make it to where to stand up. It won't stand up just on that. So, we have just a few more minutes of video left, don't we, dare Delta? Delta dog. <laughs> What's up, baby? What up, baby? So, there's one more step to this project. So, uh, today I'm hot, I'm tired, I'm sick of jacking with this thing. I'm fixing to fire up the grill and cook some Hawaiian burgers. I'm going to take some pineapples and sear them on the grill and take some bacon deer burger and some sriracha and like some kind of Hawaiian pineapple wing sauce on some hawaiian buns with purple onion lettuce tomato whatnot and make burgers out of it so next time you see me we will be finishing up putting a base on this thing where it will stand up on its own free wheel so i'm gonna go cook a burger y'all won't know that but i will see you in just one second don't worry about that x that just shows where we had to stop sanding actually 10 foot is right there so we just came another eight inches or so. so be right back just bask in the ambience of how gorgeous that is all right it's been a day since we got that done and me and charlie are hot i can tell it i'm drenched in sweat it's horrible but i just went and cut this off of a tree that i've got cut in the woods ready to go or was going to be going to the sawmill but as you can see the middle of it's pretty well rotten but it is a big this is probably i think this was the fourth cut i think so this will be 32 foot up the tree and it's still this big around if that gives you an idea how big this thing is so it's a uh, mondo to say the least so i'm going to sand this down seal it and use that for the base mount the tree on you know and meet me on party and you know no mountain clay my butt that part right there right there okay okay so yeah i'm gonna sand this down i think y'all seen enough sanding unless y'all just want to watch me sand this no okay didn't figure so so i'm gonna sand this down get it all nice and party and get her sealed and get it ready to mount to a lettree. Stand by. Look at y'all time traveling. That's all I had left. I don't really care for the bracketry, but what do you do? But the rest of it turned out quite nice. All 10 and a half feet of it. <laughs> but it is done. That is it in her in all of her glory. I just took it piece I sanded down and stained and screwed that to it. I couldn't really think of a better way to attach it 
without having to completely get that piece here completely flat on both sides and that base of the tree completely flat and i'm not that good at that stuff so you know if anybody has some bad things to say about my little brackets oh well but it is finished now we just gotta figure out what we're gonna sorry about that i had a wife holler in there now we just gotta figure out what we're gonna do with it to store it until the house is built Speaking of, we got word today that we possibly have a log stacking date. So keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully we will be stacking logs soon. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed. Like I say every time, if you got Facebook, Instagram, two pigeons and a band around their leg or a couple soup cans with a string between them. Share it, like it, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you know when I post something. Because believe you me, I got more coming. Here we go, Paw Paw. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.